guys, Curb Long Live, I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This is the penultimate episode, hopefully not of the series, but we still, after all the, the news we've heard about television shows coming back and getting canned, nothing on S.H.I.E.L.D. yet. Yeah, I heard, uh, was it CBS or ABC that was canceling a lot of shows? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so Lucifer got canceled. Yeah, Lucifer was one I heard. The uh, big one Scorpion, was Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Brooklyn Nine -Nine. which Nine -Nine. got picked up by NBC in the last second. So oh, really? NBC saved that one. So, yeah. yeah. So I've heard a lot of things getting canceled, but still nothing. Nothing. Like CW had a bunch of things that they renewed. Yeah. ABC and CBS and stuff had a bunch of things that they had canceled, I yeah. saw, but I haven't heard a single thing about this. Yeah, so. so my hope is what we talked about before, where like it's they're waiting till the last episode uh -huh. to show something awesome. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you know do we mean? want to go into that episode not knowing if it's the end or not? Yes. I, I don't know. Wouldn't it be something going into it being like, oh man, this is the end? And like they show it, like, oh man, this is the end. And then I get, they, there's like after credits, and like, oh my god, it's not the end! Maybe, yeah. Uh, well, but so what if it is I, the end? It's like, ah, oh, you're not gonna see that shit. You yeah, know? but just go into it thinking it's the end. I'm just gonna appeal and pray to Lord Thanos to spare. I'm just gonna. It's a shield. No, he's not. No. He's not going to. I'm gonna go into it planning that it's all. Okay. What a fun time we'll have. Yeah, but it'd, it'd be happy if it's not. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, so last time on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Talbot is the man, and then he's the man. He's all gravity. Yeah, um, but he's being manipulated by Manipid Cassius manipulated. Senior. Yeah, and uh, Cassius, sorry, whatever. Ed, Ed, oh, I don't know what the guy's name is. The guy who was from Spartacus. Kavas is his name there. Yeah, he's uh, Amadeus. No, what is he in there? Amadeus. I ain't right. Amadeus. No, I don't know. He, he's awesome as Spartacus too. Your mama. No. <laughs> so uh, we had that. We had Kavas. Uh, He's kind of whispering into the ear of our Lord and Savior Graviton. No more hail. Um, no more hail. Hail is kaputs. Um, Kaput in one place. <laughs> she was. Uh, he can absorb fuckers. Yeah, he absorbed. Uh, some, he absorbed fuckery. some fuckery. Um, the other other guys, they they came up to the ship at least. Uh, Daisy and and May, but they had to stand down and kneel. And Cassius had uh, Daisy at the end. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he's gonna do something. I don't know. Um, and then the other guys, uh, Fitz and Mac, are having some some moral having, philosophy fights. Having a party. Yeah, yo yo. I don't know what they're going to do down there. Like yeah. they're just down there by themselves. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Yep. We had a poll too because we had the mention of Thanos and yes. the Avengers and Even now, the war. Thanos has attacked your world. <clears throat> so will the event that takes place at the end of Marvel's Avengers: Infinity War factor into the storytelling of this season of Agents of Shield? <sighs> So hard to know. I don't know. If I knew there was another season coming, I'd probably say yes. Uh, well, 27% said no. Okay. And 72% said yes. So maybe they're just very hopeful. Well, it would be very hard for them not to address it, right? Unless there is some kind of time travel fuckery, in which case this is a, a timeline in which they're already fucking with time. It's the fixed version of the Avengers story. Amari says, I hope so. Yeah. Sarah says voting yes, but honestly, I'm not sure. I mm. just hope it does. Mm. Andrew says I'm voting know. yes because it will make the season six. We are definitely probably hoping, hopefully getting much crazier. Maybe. Uh, Ryan says I think not this season at most at the end, but may factor in more if they get another season before Avengers 4. Okay. What if it's postponed till after Avengers 4? The next season? I'd be okay with that, especially if it's going to be like a, uh, a new network or streaming service <laughs> or something. I don't know. Ben says, I don't think so, since I know the Russo brothers didn't give Mark Ruffalo full scripts for Infinity War. Well, Mark Ruffalo is known for, like, not being very tight-lipped, so the agents of show people, they know what they're doing. Yeah. Well, it was like, uh, what was it, him and War Machine. What's his name, Don Cheadle? Mm -hmm. Like, they were having an interview or whatever, and they were talking about Thor Ragnarok. And, yeah. You know, it's not, a, it's not just a happy ending for our heroes in this one. Yeah, just wait for the next one. Everyone dies. Like, he says something like that, yeah. and then he has like, that whole, like, what, what? What? And he's like, am I in trouble? He's like, I don't know, man, probably. But he does that like every Avengers movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like he always, there's so many people being like, oh man, is he spoiling stuff? Or has he spoiled well, anything? And what's going on with this? But like, I, I watched like two other things and like before Ultron, he's like, oh, just wait till the end, everyone died. And then before like the other Avengers, like just wait till the end, yeah. everyone dies. Like he keeps seeming there, to do there, that. There's a uh, interview from last year where he's talking <coughs> about this movie with uh, Affinity War, where he goes, oh yeah, ha, everyone dies. And then he has like a panic look on his face, and it sounds like he was gonna say half of, half of them die. 
Yeah. You know, which is exactly what happens. But, um, yeah, I would not be surprised at all if actors don't know that stuff, but that's different than, like, internal cross, whatever they're going to be doing, if they're going to do something like that. So it would not surprise me if Mark Ruffalo wouldn't get something and then the, the uh, people that do show to do. Mm -hmm. At the very least, I know something's going on in New York. Matthew says, I think it would be kind of insane if they didn't. I wouldn't be surprised if this season leaves us on a cliffhanger where all the stories are wrapped up, the team is celebrating their victory, and then all of a sudden we see the effects from the movie. I could see maybe like, you know, it's the after credit scene. You know, it's all wrapped up, it's all happy, this could be the end, and we all, and then just, and then we're like, huh? And then it's over. And we never get to see anything ever again. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> that would suck. Or that would be awesome. I don't know. Um, and then Speedy Brick says, because Marvel movies never acknowledge TV shows, but one can dream. Yeah, but the TV shows can acknowledge the movies. Yeah, which is all which we're is asking Which is what we're for. asking here. Mm -hmm. Not that the movies are going to fix a TV show or something like that, but the other way around. Yeah. Kind of. And we have examples of other very successful franchises being able to do something like that if they wanted to. Like, you know, the, <clears> the, the ship, the ghost showing up in Rogue One, you know? That's a trickle-up thing that doesn't require a whole lot of, like, well, what is this? You know? Yeah. Uh, Red Claw says, Mac isn't in the future... Nor is Robin's mother, Piper, or Davis. Mm -hmm. They could perhaps be affected by the movie. That is the thing. We do have a future in which the snap should have happened, right? Unless the Infinity Stones are, by their nature, unaffected by... No, they aren't, because time travel definitely affected the Mind Stone. Never mind. Yeah, that, they should... Anybody there should already still be alive from the snap, I would say. Some people were talking about, like, Infinity War being over the course of a, day, uh, of a week, and some people being like, no, at most it was three days. We don't know. I would put, yeah, around it's 48 hard, hours. It's hard to tell. Nathan makes a very good comment saying they aren't specifically going to mention Thanos attacking Earth and then not involve the end of Infinity War. It wouldn't make any logical sense. Unless the season ends before the snap. There you go, Nathan. Foiled sense. by this man who hates your comments. No, I love most of his comments. <laughs> Black. Good. Shit. That ain't good. It allows the weak to pretend to be strong. Hmm. <laughs> I don't need a gun to stop you. But that's the most incredible story I've ever heard. I need to hear Unless Davis's you story. My grandparents. I'm done, by the way. I think he's coming down to you. Uh... That's pretty cool. I don't understand. Maybe we can talk him down and end this before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Yep, you can talk him down now. That's gonna work. Yes, maybe. Maybe. She's gonna kill him. Did she see her face? That's a Prison kill him face. Ooh, x ray vision! Hen, 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 hen. Oh, Grail! Huh. Grail! Oh, yes! Hey, guys. You ever notice these schmucks are really hard to beat up? We're glad to see you. Yeah. Likewise. Touches him, turns in, he turns into more gravity. Oh, God. <clears throat> What's he gonna do? Turn him into gravitonium and absorb him. What do you feel? Peace. So much quieter. Wait. This part isn't gonna be great for you, Carl. No. But it will be over quickly, I promise. Two of us are stronger than Damn it. Damn it oh. I like curl so much. Come on, Talbot. You, Not my fault. What if he absorbs Mac? He's absorbing big men. <clears throat> But in my case, it's true. Alright, it's gonna open. It would destroy our world. Oh! 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 oh. Ah. You weren't ready for this. Yes! yes. I don't see a way to reverse the effects of the gravitonium on his system. You looked at it for decades and you know five numbers? I also know zero, so no, I know six numbers. <laughs> well, how does he know six? You know, I found you, didn't I? We can fight or we can run. Daisy. Mortal Kombat! <laughs> Score. Ah! Ah! Oh, Daisy. Hey guys. Daisy, are you okay? <laughs> 
are you they hurt you when life gives you lemons hello george daddy's home oh be cool man he absorbs him look at oh damn did you see the car in the background what's the matter cat got your tongues i'm just surprised with everything cat going got on your in tongues. the world i, I... That was so cool. My dad could do that. I'm like, Dad, you're awesome. My dad would make. Oh no! Let's That's head. just a taste. I can even fly, and I don't need a hammer or an iron suit to do it. <laughs> can I fly with you? Absolutely. Now, you ready to go for that flight? Right you know now. It? Please. We need to talk. I'd be so mad if my mom made me so I, I couldn't fly. Answer. What the hell are you talking about? She will call the shield. No, my Lego thing! Uh, every five minutes, put it back together. <gasps> oh, God, don't. It's your wife is something. Mother, thanks. I'm sorry, George. Oh. Yeah, you need Daisy to help. I'll take care of it. Go home, Phil. Now. No. Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit! God! Get the mail! Don't shoot her. You're gonna shoot your legs. Ah! Days to do stuff. She's gonna be shocked. Oh, wait. She <laughs> 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 flipping fool. Talk to my shut you up. Now go. <laughs> uh, not a word, Agent Johnson. That's an order. <laughs> Hot lips. Hot lips. I love it. It's a really big shit. I love this. Mm. Crazy aliens. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. Shoot! Oh, good. How many they got? Deadlock! Deadlock here! Jesus. <laughs> God, he's so strong, they need Deadlock. Ah, oh, some guy opened the door back there. Welcome to the neighborhood. We don't want to hurt your topic, we just want to talk to you. Where's Colson? Is it just those two? What did you do to them? Oh shit. Damn it, don't show his hand move. No! The car's gonna lift up. Shit! Uh, shit! Jeez. It's hard to follow him now. No! Would they accidentally kill the kid? Oh my god. It's going. Dude, he's gonna. He's gonna shoot him back at him. It's in orbit around him. Gravity. Oh, that was cool. I love that. I know. I, I, I hate it. I love it. Just looking for the men's room. Give it up. You know what? On second thought. No! She's invigorated by the kids. No! Oh shit, my dad used to do that to me. Time together. No, he's in time together. Oh, he's in time together. Your dad did this? No. <laughs> You're not a hero. George. It's okay, George. They're the bad people. No, wait. No, wait. Okay. Oh, he's stopping her. Yep. Keep watching the news, son. You'll see. <sighs> Shit. You need the trolley, baby. That man was born to play an actor who flies. flies. Play a character who flies. Play an actor who flies. He might as well be the actor, actor who flies. I'm flying, flying man. I'm resume. I can fly well. Flying man! David, save him! Hurry up. Here was our pilot again. Right, yeah. <laughs> I gotta hear his amazing story. You're yes, David! I'm gonna see it! Like Baraka. <laughs> Why didn't you move oh. him? Okay, that works. Mind you! Oh. oh no. Every time he's in a fight, I'm always worried because he he got punched and died once. You will never get off this ship. Show him, May. Watch me. She said she could take you. Oh, ah! his is longer. He trained Spartacus. He's really good. Yeah. Jeez, Deke. What are you doing? Oh. Get out of the way, Deke. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You made out with May. <laughs> Did I? Oh, yeah. Well, people see what they want to see, I guess. And? 
Ready for lift off. Come on. Damn it, Davis. They're dancing, baby. Oh! Oh! Should never be 100% again. Shit, she lost one. I would never use a little tiny knives to play. It's all she's got. Yeah, he's, he's choosing to use those ones. Shit, did they, did they reprogram they're, they're, it? They're coming back. Die. They're coming back for the ship. Well, one little thing. We changed the target. Shields up! I didn't need a gun to stop you. I know zero. I know zero. <laughs> Bye. Shit. Oh, hope this ever took off. Okay, good. Blackwater's good. What the hell is that? Is there a ship here? Oh. Tell me you have them. Yeah. yeah. What the hell? Damn, he's bleeding a lot. I don't understand. It was... No, oh. Coulson. Davis. What I brought back, that's the last of it. Pick one or the other. So we either save Coulson, or we save the world. That's the try part of it, then. Shit. We'll return in a moment. Next episode, yay! Well, we have one episode left. Maybe of this season, maybe ever. Yes. And it seems like the episode's gonna come down to the idea of stopping Talbot or saving Coulson. Which. Yeah. Save the cheerleader, save the world. No, what? Not the cheerleader. <laughs> Cheerleaders, it's separate. Uh. I mean, they've gotta choose Talbot, right? Yeah. That's gotta be the option they take. The only thing I can imagine is that if they try to, if they just go with Colson and try to find another way to stop Talbot, then it doesn't work. Or if they try like splitting the serum, the centipede serum, to make like maybe there'll be enough to save Colson and stop Talbot, and there's not, so they don't save Colson and they don't stop Talbot. I mean, my thing is like, do we 100% know that Talbot will be the one? Talbot will be the one to destroy the world. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I'll put it like that. 95%. Like, what else is going to destroy the world? I don't know. I mean, you, you, the whole program called it the destroyer of worlds is what they would become, right? Yeah. Well, for, actually, even if you give him the Odium, he could still destroy the world. Because doesn't the Odium make it turn into a giant rage monster for like 10 minutes? Well, yeah, but the idea I think they have is that it's going to penetrate his cells and, and like, stop him. I, I, Not I the think... fact that it's going to rage him out and make him go crazier. Well, that's, that's what odium does, though, right? Well, the, the odium is like, while you're dying, you use it to have one last hurrah. Yeah, it's like a steroid. Like yeah. a super steroid that turns you into like a rage guy. Yeah. And then you die. So it well, will no, you're, you're already... It's supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be like if you're already going to be dying. Like if, like, yeah. like if you're going to be... Like if you've already been hit and you're dying, or if like you're in a position where like, well, I'm going to die anyway. But you're supposed to use it. It, it. I don't know if it... If it, it does kill you, because it killed the one guy they sent down there, and that, that he had chained up and stuff. Yeah, but wasn't that also after he'd already gotten shot and stuff? Um... I don't know if it's necessarily the Odin that, that killed him, you. or if he was in the process of already dying, so he used it to have his adrenaline push him further. Same idea of, like, like if, if a deer gets shot and is going to die, its adrenaline can, like, make it run another five miles, yeah. and it just dies over there, but it's still pushed really hard. But the reason they I, they don't use it until those moments is because I think it does kill you. Like, why, or else, couldn't they just use it and it's a thing they can, you can use? Maybe. Yeah, I think that it's, it's supposed to be like a, you know, it's like a fucked up cyanide pill. It's like, I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna cause my havoc because I can as it's happening. I think it's kind of what the Kree use it for. Okay. Um, so, so if you which, give it to Talbot... He'll die. He will die, yeah, yeah but what if he destroys the Earth before he yeah, does? The centipede would accelerate it. That's the use of the uh, centipede thing, right? Centipede, the, like... The centipede and the odium together will penetrate his cells and accelerate his death then. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting it wrong. I, I don't... I don't know. I think it 
but do what we've seen Odium do for every single everybody yeah, else. Yeah, but Odium didn't have centipede in it though, right? Yeah, I I don't I don't know. I, I didn't see anything that would contradict that that make was make it I mean, make it do the that. The centipede killed people on its own too. Yeah, it would make you well. Uh, yeah, they were using extremists and centipede together because centipede is like from extremists. I thought centipede was like a version of extremists. Uh, yeah, yeah, it would make you it explode. Was like a, it was but, like a pre version. Yeah, of it. but it was exploding like the uh, guys in Iron Man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, two or three. Uh, Iron Man 3. 3, yeah. But if the, if the Odium and the Centipede serum together penetrate the cells to kill him, and it, yeah. I mean, I don't think they're going to do it to be like, well, he'll be Rage Monster for 10 minutes, and then we got to deal with that. you got to fight him. you got to stop him. Like, he's going to die, and now we have a, you know, an I mean, they could say ticking time clock to, to make sure you stop him before this happens, it, and I then mean, we win. Yeah, they could say there's that, too, where it's yeah. like, okay, we just got to hold him off until he dies. Yeah. But, I mean, that one guy, like, it wasn't like 10 minutes. He was... That one guy was odium for a while, it seemed, right? I mean, he was chained up for how long? Uh, we don't know. So there's got to be something with, like, the centipede thing that either accelerates or... I mean, or... Cassius took it, and then he had, a, you know, we don't know how long it takes to walk down the hallways and stuff, but I would say it's anywhere from, like, 10 minutes to, like, 40 minutes. You know? Maybe it's something like like bites and walking dead. Like, sometimes you instantly turn, sometimes it takes you two days. I mean, what if the odium doesn't have a time where it wears off? I mean, that's why you only have it once. You take it once, now you're in this rage-induced thing, and you'll just run yeah. dry eventually, but... Like, that's why it's your last-ditch effort mm -hmm. when you know you're either going to die or you've been injured to the point that you are going to be dying. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying 100%, but I, I was very certain that it kills you, and that's what makes it, like, a last-ditch effort. Like, it's like a poison. And, that, and the side effect of the poison is this, like, rage and strength and stuff. Could be. I just know Cassius lasted a long time. Yeah. Like, he didn't die from that. He died from, like, getting stabbed. Mm -hmm. That was his death. It wasn't because of the odium. Yeah. He just used it to up, up its strength and everything, it seemed. And then the other guy that we died in the chains used it after he had also been shot. And everyone yeah. else had thought they were dead. And then he used it afterwards. Like, Cassius used it because he, like, it was almost like a, a, a suicide. But suicide by rage monster, you know? Yeah. yeah. He's like, I'm, I'm, you know, this is going to be the end of me, but I'm going to take down as many as I can before yeah. it ends. I was just saying, like, if you take it in one or two scenarios, one is the one guy got shot and was going to probably be dead. Mm -hmm. So he took it to at least take people out with him. And then the other one was Cassius's, where it's like, you know, surrounded by the enemies, I'm going to be dying, I might as well take this and take out as many as I can. Yeah. But he'll die in battle. Sure. But, I don't know. I don't know if the Odium, I don't know if the Odium itself kills, or if it's also a mix of like, you know, some guy being injured, thus he will die. I thought that whenever he was like in that stone room and he's, before he was taking it, he talked about how like the ancient Kree would take this for one last... Yeah. Thing. But you're right. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean it kills you. I took it that way. It was. I, I felt like that was what we were supposed to take it, but it could not be. Yeah. You know? So it's not 100, percent but I would yeah. say it, I mean, it does. Like if if Kasai just took it and then won and then just I killed everybody and then just waited and he died, I'd be like, okay. Yeah. Definitely just killed him. Sure. But I don't know. I, I feel like we've seen yeah. two different ways, and they're both like kind of the ways I was like, oh well, this guy's yeah. pure like I'm like seriously injured. I'm like 90-10 when it kills you. Okay. 95-5. You're, you're going too far. I only know up to six. So you're just going to say 100%. <laughs> <laughs> it 100% kills you. <laughs> I know zero. <laughs> hey, man, in the beginning, they had the Marvel logo, and it went black. They haven't, they've done that before. That was cool. I mean, I certainly was bummed, and I had very mixed emotions with this, because, like, Creel dying, it, like, it hits me hard. Yeah. He's a season one dude. Yeah, that hits me hard, because I love Crusher Creel. And seeing and it, him become just another stockpile of gravitonium to be absorbed is just shit. Yeah, from a guy who he was loyal to that helped, you know, get rid of his programming. Yeah. Where, like, he was a villain, and now he's, like, a, a hero helping helping his yeah. friend for how and, long. you know, it, it's, it's really cool, too. Not cool, but it's very challenging as a fan of Talbot that he can't necessarily be held responsible. Like, they're talking about, we need to cure him of this because it's affecting him. It's not... That's not 100% him. That's he's. It's a broken man in there that got shot and got brainwashed and all that stuff. And now he has confidence, yes. And that probably is Talbot's confidence. But I don't think it's necessarily his his yeah. conscious uh, choices. So it sucks that it's not even really him that did it. You know? Yeah. I mean, we saw him as a as, you know after his his brain damage, you know, yelling at his kid. Yeah. Which seemed like. Like, every, the way everything was acting, like, that wasn't normal for him. Yeah. And it was sad. And then here we see him absorb and kill his, like, you know, as his friend. 
and then attack his a, wife, attack and threaten his wife. Like it doesn't feel like it's what he would have been. Yeah. He seemed like he was. And a, he, he's self justifying. He was, a, he was a soldier too. for the U.S. He was a family man. He was, you know, yeah. And then yeah, the self justification. And then the kid comes out and like you're killing them. That's not what good people do. And he's like, I'm just giving them a warning shot. And then, meanwhile, that one shield agent has a bullet in his throat. I'm like I'm warned, <laughs> you know. But aside from that and my frustration, like God damn, I hate that this is happening to this man. Even though I love the story, his power is just so cool. Yeah, I love his the bullets. suit. And he's like he's fucking stacked in that thing. He loves doing this shit, you know. <laughs> he looks and so he's good. He's just standing there with bullets flying around him. Yeah. I mean, he looks like Superman. Yeah. Like, even, like, the little, like, groin foil things that point to his crotch. Like, that's what they have in Man of Steel, you know? You put him with cape on there, he would be fucking Zod. Yeah. But, oh, man, I, I, the bullets going around him, like, like that was, an awesome that was shot. so I loved it. great. Because, I mean, it's just about gravity and, and controlling that mass or, you know, or however he's doing it. I so love it. He must be, like, controlling... The gravity around him constantly? Yeah, because... Because Yo-Yo couldn't get in it there? It was like an unconscious thing that Yo-Yo couldn't... Like, maybe at a certain velocity, you can't do it. Maybe. You know? I don't know. It was just... <sighs> so I mean, his son just walked up on him. But Yo-Yo yeah. couldn't. So I don't know what was going on there. Yeah. I liked how they called uh, Kovas the villain of the month. <laughs> not villain of the week. Or freak of the week or something like that. Because S.H.I.E.L.D. generally keeps their villains around for like a pod. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I just thought it was really funny. A little thing they did with that. We talked about the trying and stuff like that. I was like, but yeah, but the try implies fail. Or like a possible yeah. fail. So they need to Yoda it. Yeah. They need to do it and save them. There is no try. Or don't do it and not save them. See, if they not don't do it, if they don't do it, they don't risk failing. If they do do it, they can't fail. Yeah. So like statistically, to succeed, it would be not to. to. Yeah, to 100% succeed would be safer not to do it. Yeah. But if they have a way that would 100% mm -hmm. save them, then you can go at that one, it should work as well. Yeah. Because I think, I think it's going to be one of two things. It's going to be, they, they don't do it, they use this to kill off Talbot, and they save the world. Or they do save Coulson, and then Coulson can talk Talbot down somehow, or something. But, but I don't know if Future that, Yo said, like, you know, yeah, you're, you're, I get it. Like, Future Yo said, like, trying, like, to save him yeah. destroys the world. So if they try, okay, we'll save Coulson, and then it doesn't work, now they don't have Coulson to stop Talbot, mm -hmm. and they don't have the serum to kill Talbot, so they have no way of stopping him, and what <sighs> happens, happens. Which he's just trying to get more gravitonium to, I guess, stop Thanos and save the world, but he's going to destroy it. Well, I think that's what the way he self-justifies it. I think it's really a matter of, like, he just wants more power. Yeah, I guess. I'm going to go into spoilers of, Th of Infinity War, but wouldn't it be terrible... If you were a hero or anything in on the earth, and you're just watching people just start disappearing. You can't do anything. And you're like, oh my god, I can't do anything about this. It's terrible. Yeah. And then you're like, I'm still here, but what do I do? And then all of a sudden the earth just blows up and everyone just dies anyway. <laughs> you're like, son of a bitch! <laughs> like, 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 hey, hey, dude, like they're on as, as far. I'm like, dude, earth blew up. <laughs> like, what? I didn't do that. Yeah, like after you left and you killed, like, like they just blew up. Yeah. It's like, well, I guess they won't remember him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? it's like, hey, yeah, you remember all those people you killed? Like, all of them that could have stopped the Earth blowing up were fighting you instead, and then you killed half of them, and then now the Earth is gone and everyone's dead. Like, huh. He, like, turns back time and like, oh, shit, this show's awesome! <laughs> you know, he's trying to stop it. <laughs> <You know? coughs> he breaks through a loop for them because he has a time stone. That'd be great if, like, we can't, we can't change it, and Thanos just shows up. I saw the future. <laughs> he changes it for him. That's not going to happen. No. Um, what is Davis's story? I don't know. Everybody that hears is like, that's the most amazing thing that's ever happened. I need, uh, you know how Yo-Yo had Slingshot? Like a little, I, I want yeah, either six episodes show me series. or have us come over there and we'll help you shoot it with Davis. Yeah. That'd be awesome. We'll film the story. Hell yeah, man. We'll write it if we got to. Yeah. Did Make Davis. some ridiculous, crazy, awesome six episode, like here's what happened and how he yeah. survived. Yeah. <laughs> like That'd in be awesome. a world, one man. Davis. <laughs> just a scar right here. Just yeah. <sighs> hey, speaking of scars, Talbot doesn't have his bullet hole scar anymore, does he? He has these three little marks here. Yeah, but I didn't see. When he was talking to Creel, I kept looking. I'm like, was it over here? Yeah. I was trying to find it, but no, I never saw it. Once he absorbed everything, like I think he can heal now or something. I don't know. Because well, he, he can't can... fucking heal this. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I mean, he can turn into Gravitonium and like reform, you know? Yeah. Maybe he can like... He just know, covered it maybe up. Maybe if he got shot, he'd be... Like, you know? I, know. Ding, 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 ding. I was just curious about that. I'm like, man, his scar disappeared. Yeah. 
So we got another tie in, a, a couple on the, you know, on the TV, but destruction and panic in New York is all over the news, Max says. Yeah. I well, mean, that has to be the fight between Ebony Maw, Iron Man, Spider Man, and uh, Wong, Doctor Strange. Do Wong, Doctor Strange. And, and who, not, who the fuck's that big giant? Well, in the comics, he's called Black Dwarf, but in this, I think he's called like Obsidian something. Obsidian something? Yeah. On well, this one, it shows Destruction Panic New York is more devastation on the way, and it shows yeah. like buildings destroyed. I'm trying to see, like, okay, what would have caused that? Because, I mean, we had, like, the, the great winds and stuff in the beginning of the... I mean, it has to be during that fight. I guess Spider-Man and, and Iron Man, they're fighting, like, more in the park with that guy. Strange and uh, Spider-Man or with Ebony Maw. Yeah, I, I, can't... I, I could see something like that maybe being, like, just, you know... Like, some shit got thrown, and that's the side of the building, you yeah, know? Yeah, I suppose so. But, yeah, like, it was not like Wakanda where things landed. Yeah. And that spaceship never did anything. Okay, here we go. Uh, by an extraterrestrial encounter, destruction caused in Queens, it said. Mm hmm. Which I guess would make sense because Spider Man was nearby. It would make sense that he's near Queens. I just wanted to see what it showed on the news. It looked like a car flipped over, just damage. But I didn't know if there was anything else on the, yeah. the, the bottom tagline thing. I mean, that big giant hammer chain thing. City yeah. completely in. Crippled by damage. City crippled by damage, yeah. and then something else down below, but I can't tell what it is. But yeah, it's just another car flipped over, and it's a very loose, like you know, they could watch the trailer and be like, "Oh, they're gonna be attacking New York." Yeah, exactly. Push some shots of devastation and stuff, and then they're like, "Oh shit, there's not that much devastation in the movie." But <laughs> uh, you know, I could see like, you know, some of the fighting, like that, like you know, there was that big giant hammer. Yeah. Well, the car flipped over makes out. sense because like they they had cars and stuff that they were yeah. throwing and whatnot, and you know, Iron Man cut one in half yeah. whenever Maw threw one and stuff, and then. Uh, the beam that was pulling yeah. up Spider-Man, he was holding on that whole... We also don't broke. know what was happening um, before they came out of the Sanctum. Like, members like, you know, Doctor, your hair's moving or whatever. Are you moving your hair? Lots of wind. You know, there's a lot of wind, and there was already devastation happening there. You know, people crashing into stuff. And, stuff flying around from the yeah. wind. I'm going to say, like, some of the main damage could be just side effects of that. And, you know, we'll just loosely be like... They had an idea there was an attack on New York. They showed some devastation, yeah. you know? So, but I mean, that's, you know, uh, that places us roughly the same spot, because all we knew was that Thanos was attacking, right? Yeah. But I mean, hell, the Cassius guy could just have known that Thanos... He knows Thanos is coming to Earth, Yeah. right? So even now, Thanos is attacking your world. That could mean, like, he's on his way. Yeah, it doesn't know? mean him himself, his army, his minions and stuff are yeah. there. So definitely New York's battle has already happened. So has Wakanda started yet? Is Scotland uh, already done? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it, it, we have to think about how much time was, from when they left from the spaceship to getting to Titan and then well, Thanos attacking there. Yeah. Which could be a long time. Yeah. Was Scotland also the same time, like, or close to the same time as New York? It has to be after, because you know? uh, Banner calls Captain America to go get Vision. So it has to be... Is that how he got there? Yeah. Because he picked up the phone and he calls Steve. Yeah. You know? Uh, that's how yeah, That's how Captain America knows. Go find the vision. I thought they, they were just around. And no, they, they you said... You stay close, and you didn't. Yeah, no, they... Because uh, um, Black, Black Widow said something to Scarlet Witch about it, I thought. Yeah, no, so. they're, they, she was supposed... To, they were supposed to... Vision... They were around Scarlet Witch, but Vision was supposed to be, you know, back with the other Avengers. Yeah. He goes out, and they lost him around, what they say, Edinburgh or something like that? They said, we lost you around somewhere... And then he calls Cap, and that's, I think, why when Cap shows up. Hmm. So he's like, he calls Cap, like, hey, they're being attacked, and that's how you can get there so quickly. You know? Okay. And, like, there was one person saying, like, you know, they when, when, when they hit the bell, it was also alerted Cap to where they were going to be, too, because they were fighting up in that bell tower. So where the hell are they going to be? The city's big. How does Captain Falcon and Nat get there so quick, you know? But one is that they're alerted by Bruce. That's why they have the whole scene about, you know, using the same flip flown that Cap gives to him. Yeah. And then it Bruce just, picks it up and calls him. They just seem kind of, I guess, more surprised whenever Bruce showed up with War Machine there in the Avenger new facility. I just thought there was like a little bit of a surprise there that, oh, mm -hmm. Bruce is here. And like, why would he be surprised if there was a phone call? <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, maybe he called Cap and Cap didn't say anything about it being Banner, or maybe they didn't even ask, you know? Maybe. I think it's implied that he's called, because why have a, have a whole shot after the battle of him picking up the phone? Yeah. I mean, didn't mean he answered. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and it cut, and it's like, fucking, he didn't answer. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, 
I put, I put Deke Y. Like, there was that whole fight going on with May, and he just kept going in between them, it. like, three or four times. I'm like, why? What are you doing? Go it was, around. That's funny. Yeah. I liked it. I was like, you're gonna die. It sucks to fight with tiny little knives when yeah. he has these giant sweaty I would, things. I would hate that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. I just think it always makes for, like, a weird dynamic when you're doing those and people go, you know, they're like, they're fighting as if they're fighting with swords. They're like, ah! You know? Because yeah. there's a couple of shots where they were doing that. Like, you don't do that when you have a blade that small. You don't do that in general. But I can see it more when you have a really long one, you know? Uh, Fitz and Mac are still having, you know, or I guess it's really Fitz having a hard time working with Mac after their disagreement. Yeah. I mean, he discussed and acknowledged it and everything, yeah, but he wasn't willing they to would look at him. put it behind them and focus on the thing, which I think they're trying to do. Mac, said, Mac he, at least definitely is. Fitz said that they'll get over it. Yeah. Or he'll get over it. I think he said him specifically. He's like, I'll get over this soon, but... You're gonna cover the kiss and the shield! Ah, ah. That was so good. Yeah, I was excited. I was like, ah, oh, shoot! Ah, oh, kiss! <laughs> it was Hot great. Lips. Loved it. And Daisy kept on, like, teasing about it. Yeah, that was amazing. Dude, when Daisy broke that thing, well, they're like, <clears throat> you know, I love that moment. That was so cool. But, yeah, the, the best moment of the episode is the shield kiss. I loved it. It's so great. I mean, their relationship has been... It's like one of those things that if we weren't ending the season slash the show, they probably wouldn't, you know, they'd probably still drag it out or not make it important. But because it is, it's like, oh, we got to start doing that, you know. So these find those little moments, but I liked it. I mean, anytime they can bring that shit out is amazing, but that was the best, the best moment. So because of having that, that means this is going to be last season. Maybe. Right? Know. I need to bang. Once. No, they don't need to bang. They need to bang You once. don't need to bang. Yes. Just get over on that hospital I'm, bed. I'm just waiting on Deathlock. We kind of got a really good moment with him this season already. Should have once. Where do you at now? He works alone. There is shit going down. He's not helping with Thanos. He's not helping with Graviton. What is he doing? He's working on other things. He he would be a perfect person to talk about Centipede. Like how much how yeah. how much does he know and did it was he involved? Maybe with, he'll you know? be the one that will stop them from using it on Phil. I just you know, the thing is that they're doing all this shit while Phil said I don't want it. I mean, they're yeah. going against his wishes. Well, they might not do it, though. What do you think Deke is going to use that navigation card that he got? Because you don't do that shit for no reason. Yeah, it was a mantle thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's how they take their Zephyr to go pick up Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> they got to do something with that, but you don't, you don't just put that in there. It's like, what did you do that for? Like, I don't know. I just wanted to do some shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the navigation yeah. tape thing is going to be used yeah. for. It's got to be... There's got to be something. Um, maybe finding another target. Maybe... Knowing where something came from, like I don't, I don't know what information's there. It's just navigation, which it looks like navigation charts, which could yeah. be like just charting the galaxy that you, you know. Yeah, but is it is it like also does it have information of like where things came from? Like, is there like does it show the path that ship came from and how it got yeah. to Earth? So they know like where it came from and how to get yeah. back. To, or like I don't know, is it or is it just here's the planets and here's where they are and here's where they come from? Or, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what information's on it versus it just being a literal map of the galaxy. Does the Marvel Universe travel intergalactically? Like multiple galaxies? Yeah. I'm not really sure. But I mean, we've we've heard about like going throughout the galaxy. We've you know obviously Thanos does universe stuff, you know. But I don't know if they ever do they travel out in between the galaxies? Because Kasai said before he said it was fake, was like you're at the edge of the galaxy. And then didn't Thanos have a line or something like talking about the most important woman in the galaxy or something like that? I don't know. But they never said, didn't say universe. It could all be galaxy stuff. Yeah. I mean, and then, and then I always felt like Asgard was the most confusing of it all. Cause yeah. I, I wasn't sure how Asgard worked necessarily with like its nine realms or whatever. Yeah. And then I was like, are those just places in the in the galaxy that you just. Well, one of the realms have, is where the you know? dwarves are that build the those things. But it's, but the, it's a whole realm. But it seems like it's just a place that you could fly in a pod to. Yeah. Like do they just call realms like places yeah. that they control? They're like all oh, the nine realms. It's just like well, these yeah. nine planet places like are places that we protect. But Midgard is a realm. Yeah. So is that just Earth a realm or? Well, yeah, you know. that's what I was wondering about. Because yeah. okay. then whenever the Asgard left, like they left the one place, they just flew there, and then they just flew away from Asgard. And I'm yeah. like, how do they? You don't need the Bifrost then. You can just fly away, or I don't know how it works. So that was always the most confusing to me, in relation to like. Sure. Oh well, okay. There's Earth, and then the Guardians of Galaxy are guarding the galaxy mm -hmm. out amongst the galaxy, you know. And where's Asgard exactly? <laughs> is it in the galaxy or is it? Is it like a realm? It just, it's just—it's yeah. one of those things about galaxies is that you know what is reachable today is not reachable tomorrow because yeah. galaxies are flowing faster than the speed of light away from each other. You know, so yeah. And then some of it too could just be like Asgardian lingo. 
you know, mm-hmm. is different. Like, but yeah. they call magic and science is one and the same. It's just sure. So, okay. Well, that's all I have. Q and A's. Yes, guys. This is uh, next time is going to be your last chance to get in um, some Q and A's for Shield, uh, at least for this season, possibly ever. So make sure when you're watching next episode, I'm sure we're going to have questions. And it's going to be our last chance to answer them. So go to Twitter, at BlindWayProd, hashtag ShieldQ&A. Colt says, man, the Infinity War connection. So in the future, Robin, May, Fitz, and Yo-Yo were alive. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that Mac, Gemma, and Coulson will be killed or Infinity War? It's possible. I was going to say... Uh, earlier that maybe the infinity gauntlet snap thing is something that's so powerful it doesn't necessarily hold to like time travel rules like maybe it doesn't even get factored in until it happens and then it affects everything you know like from there but at the very least the stones aren't like that because Thanos has time travel to get one you know so they yeah. do they, they seem to be just a subject to time uh travel stuff yeah, as time, anything time, else. Time so I would say that yeah, that that, that could be true. Hmm. I mean we always imply that they were, you know, killed off camera by the Korean invasion or yeah. the destruction of Earth. But it could be dust. But it could be dust. Ash. Uh Andrew says Dust in the blood. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, we know what the choice is. What decision will they make? Any other throwbacks you think we'll see and how broken Will you be after the finale? If we take just the word of Coulson dies and the Earth is saved, or the Earth dies and Coulson is saved, which doesn't make any sense, there's no choice. First of all, Coulson would not let you, and to choose him over the world would be an insult to him, I think. And, like, you know, if someone did that to me, it's like, oh, I chose you, other than 10 billion people, many of whom I love and cherish and stuff like that, I'd be like, fuck you, you don't know what I'm about. Colson's about saving people. Yeah. He would not be so selfish as to think, oh, thank God you saved me. Yeah. You know? So I think even choosing or entertaining the idea that saving him over saving the world is... But what if saving him can also stop Talbot and save Talbot? That's why I said if we take it to the simple parts of it's just him or them, you know? Hmm. Then the choice is easy. But when it comes to the, all the variables, I don't know. Andrew also says that I've been, I will say I've been waiting on that damn shield all season. And they unleashed it in one of the best TV moments ever. Did you guys love that whole scene as much as me? Yes, no, I loved it. We didn't. We weren't. What? Eric it was very. Me. We were just sitting I, here. I loved it. It was great. I love the shield. They showed it one time before, right? Have we had it once otherwise? In like that cabiny place? I'm thinking we've had it twice before. I, I remember why. one yeah. in that cabin. The first time you did it. Yeah, the first time. Maybe two whenever. I think it's two. I think it was two. I think it was one time when he blocked. I think he blocked like bullets or something like mm-hmm. that with it. And I think there was a second time when there was a collapse and he used it to yeah. like save yeah. people. This is the third time, I believe. But I it's possible it. it could be fourth, and I'm forgetting one, but I'm pretty sure it's third. But yeah, I loved it. It was great. It was a great scene. I was so excited. So excited. And Captain America is his favorite. Red French Moon says, Wow, roller coaster of emotions and a shield kiss. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, choice of world or Coulson. Uh, do you think we will ever hear Davis's story? God, I hope so. I don't think we will. I think it's one of those things they just keep saying about, just to kind of tease it. Tell me, Marvel, you know, have nothing. us do a miniseries, and I'll make that the most... We will make we that do, the most epic awesome. S.H.I.E.L.D. Right. story ever. We're gonna do... We got S.H.I.E.L.D. truck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're good. We'll do it. We just, we just have him crash. Yeah. Have some happen. And shield, shield, Deathlock shit show up or something like that. I don't know. Like, cause he came back with Deathlock, so he's got to end with Deathlock. We just need to borrow Deathlock. Yeah. This part. Since we, you're obviously not yeah. using him. Get him out of storage <laughs> for us, please. <laughs> Tone says, as much as they love Coulson, how can they possibly choose Coulson over the entire world, as they did in the future timeline? And it's not a hypothetical end of the world. They've seen it. The threat is real. Hashtag. I want to make out with me. <laughs> Behind the shield, as bullets are raining down God. upon us. And what if they just shot their legs? <laughs> Blocked it. Yeah, just struck it down. You could probably just do this real quick. And it'd be like a shield hitting everything, you know? Get and cool. and like, again, a real lightsaber fight, you just be like, <laughs> yeah, you <should> just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dynamics is an amazing episode. The show never disappoints. Next week, might be the last episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. ever, and I am the most eaten I've ever been. I am eaten. 
I am eating. Magnus says, wouldn't Yo-Yo have to get some custom-made guns? Her hands are very bulky. How could she fit her fingers in to pull the trigger? Yeah, they were very small to begin with, so now they're more like now they're like normal yeah. fingers. Like if if they put like, like the, yeah, they're... like my finger versus yours. Like yeah, yours look look, your finger looks bigger. Yeah, Mac would be like this. Look at my you know. Yeah. yeah. So he's yeah, and you can use gun, right? Yeah. Yeah. So she yeah. had like my fingers. I'm just saying, I doubt her robo fingers are as big as Mac's fingers. Right. I don't know. So if he can do it, she can do it. The Marlis Jan says, "Huh? So absorbing man." was absorbed. He absorbed the gravitonium from him and turned the gravitonium, then he absorbed the gravitonium in him and became yeah. more powerful. I mean, that was the easy way of getting more gravitonium, I suppose. It was a good idea. It sucked, but yeah. Um, the Marvelous Jan also said, also, as we're approaching what may be the final S.H.I.E.L.D. episode, I want to thank you both for providing us with years of entertaining reactions and discussions. Thank you. Hopefully so nice. we will get another season. Yes. But if we don't, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank it's you, consistently one of my favorite shows that we do, um, and it is not the most successful show that we do. Yeah. So thank I, you guys for watching. I was talking to a buddy the other day because he had just watched Infinity War, and he was talking to me about different stuff, and then he watched our review to see like what we thought, and he was just sure. throwing things back and forth at, with me. And uh, He's watching um, Daredevil and stuff because he wanted to watch Defenders. And I was like, he's like, well, what do I got to watch? I'm like, well, make sure you watch season one of everything and then season two of Daredevil. And I, I was like, and make sure, like, don't make sure you don't skip like Daredevil season two, and Iron Fist because those both really pertain to what yeah. happened to Defenders. Then we started talking about Shield and stuff, and he's like, oh, I'm watching a Shield. And like, what? Why? <laughs> I was like, dude, Shield is probably my favorite TV show that's on the yeah. air right now. Like, it's so good. He's like, really? I'm like, yeah, it is really. It's like good. saying you like watching the prequel Star Wars movies, but like, eh, I don't watch Clone Wars. <laughs> what? <laughs> But I told him, like, dude, just, you need to start watching it. Like, you, yeah. if you have trouble in the first season, just get through it up to Winter Soldier. And things just go crazy. Because I was yeah. like, you know what happens in Winter Soldier, right? He's like, yeah. I was like, S.H.I.E.L.D. gets destroyed. He's like, yeah. And there's a show called Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> yeah. Like, obviously things get affected as it continues to happen. So, yeah, just watch it. Yeah, I believe so. the episode is called Turn, Turn, Turn. So, it's Which good. is what Natalie says, uh... Natalia Romanoff says in Avengers, when she's like, turn, 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 with that thing. Yeah. I was like, that's kind of a funny name they put there, you know? Bl Blassert says, nice. I need to know Agent Davis's story. Yeah, I know. What do you think Deke could use the alien map for? Finding frozen fits, maybe? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. It's, it's, hmm, so Fitz, let's say Fitz dies and he just goes and gets... Well, that one doesn't have any of the experiences that they have here. No, he wouldn't. But he would be Fitz. He's probably, he'd still have the brokenness of the Doctor in him. Or maybe not as bad, because he'd have to do It'd be some as things. Bad. Oh, no, that one's not married. Just no. remarry. No, it's remarry not the same. Again. It's just the same person. No. Just in... I don't. I, I have no idea what they're gonna use that that navigation stuff for. He's gonna give it to Davis, and Davis is gonna replace all the Guardians of the Galaxy. Because we need some more, and then his epicness will become galactic. Uh, let's see. Random X says, "I love Ru the Ruby debate about if Yo Yo should be tried, mm -hmm. but likewise, Coulson Coulson should definitely be convicted for his revenge when murdering Grant Ward on Mavet." Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would be on you, right? That would be on. Like if you judge Yo-Yo for killing uh, Ruby, would you judge Coulson for killing? I didn't want Coulson killed. Yeah. Um, I like Ward. <laughs> yeah. I want, uh, I want more Ward. They should yeah. arrest him. He's crushed him. Yeah. It was sad. For some reason, when they first had that little echoey sound, I'm like, this is Ward talking. What? Could be Ward, sound? the echoey talking in the very beginning, like <laughs> whose whose voice? The echoey Ward voice echoing in her head. At this point, the only way I see having him back in is maybe some kind of flashback clip thing that they do. It'd be great. They end it and he comes back from the framework. <laughs> You're in there. Ah, Ward. It'd be some fucking shit if you like. It's the last episode, uh, last after credit. He comes back to the framework. He's like, "Hey guys," and he just I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh my god! But damn it! <laughs> Speaking says this was a great episode of Shield. Mm -hmm. Do you think they can save both Coulson and the world? I just hope they save the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, Regardless of what happens. Also, would you save a loved one or the world? The world. 
And I would expect any of my loved ones to do the same. I wouldn't save Eric at all. I'd save the world. Eric, <laughs> sorry, you're dead. I'd save the world. You wanted the world to die, didn't this you? Is what, this is what he wanted. <laughs> and in my phone, I think I have you. I think it's because of Shane, but you're, you're devourer of worlds. Devourer of worlds. So yes. like, I got Eric's gonna die, so I can yep. save the world. <laughs> I wanted to share something my brother sent me uh, this weekend. He said, "No spoilers, but there is a moment in the new Shield that's so good that Lewis, his son, put down Captain America, Black Panther, and Iron Man, and asked me to get my Coulson figure down from my shelf." Yeah, <laughs> I think that's really cool. Lewis is like, was he three? Maybe. Four. Give me that. Yeah. <laughs> he throws it away. Give me that. White Wolf asked, uh, what we talked about earlier, would Centipede and Odium make uh, Talbot stronger and even crazier for a short period of time? It may. I don't know what they ran as their test, but mixing it, that's what the Odium does, but will the Centipede have any other effects that maybe... Maybe it hastens stuff even quicker if it's going mean, to kill him. Or... They're planning on giving the Odium to Graviton mixed with the Centipede, but not give the Odium at all to Coulson, right? They're just yeah. using the Centipede I think, I think it's the Centipede and uh, Chloe, Chloe's mom yeah. for Coulson. Yeah. Or it's Centipede and Odium for Talbot. Give me some shit they mixed up and then gave Coulson the Odium. <laughs> oh, shit! What we do? <laughs> so if Centipede is a way of things like... I, I don't know what the centipede exactly does. Centipede, like, puts something you know? quickly into your bloodstream, I think. Isn't that what they said? Because that's why they can use either odium or they can use Jiaying stuff. It, it, it's, it has these little nanoparticle robot things that deliver things and alter your cells. Okay. So, so it's like, it's they like want to metatosis, but at an accelerated rate. They want to accelerate uh, Jiaying's, like, healing factor yeah. through all of Colson's cells. It's a way of delivering or it. Or if Odium is going to, if, if they're going to use the Odium to try to, like, kill Talbot, then Centipede would be delivered. If it accelerates it, like, maybe, I mean, maybe it's a matter of time of, like, how long does the Odium, like, take to, like, you ingest it and it goes off of your body. Yeah. Because they said that, would they say something about uh, ingesting it wouldn't be fast enough or something like that? So that's why they want to deliver it through uh, the Centipede serum, right? Is that what they said? Mm-hmm. So maybe like because of the fast enough thing is the centipede serum would accelerate it through and there wouldn't be that time frame of like this. It would just be like a minute he'd be dead. But the idea of him like having 10 minutes of like, we got to just count on time, yeah. just hold him off. Also like how long, at, depending, especially if he gets more gravitonium with Robin, like how long would it take for him to destroy the world? Like, you know, Frieza can shoot the earth in a second and it will destroy, it'll, it'll blow up, you know? Even though it blows up like a half hour later, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, eventually it'll break up. So how long does, does Tal a crazy rage-filled tablet need to destroy the earth, you know, versus how long it takes for the odium to kill him? And if he's distracted not trying to, maybe that's the thing. Yeah. I and mean, they, they, they also did the... They have to deliver it as well. We still have that future video clip of Daisy le leaving the plane, like right? Upset kind of. And thing. that was the proof that she's the destroyer of worlds. But we still have to do that, don't we? I mean, the next episode, I guess. Yeah. So maybe that's her. Like, I have to go stop Talbot. I'll maybe I'll die, but I can save the world. Maybe it's. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. That might be mo the moment when she becomes the leader of Shield. You know, I don't know. And she's trying to, maybe she thinks that she can try to contain, kind of like how she did the Gravitonium before. Yeah. She like, you know, pushed it onto yeah, a little it needs ball to be like, everything. Yeah, it needs to be like a, like a moment where it's like, you know, Coulson's sitting there dying. It's like, you have to go, you know, I can't, I can't, you have to. No, 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 she goes off the side. Or they just give her the centipede odium serum and he dies. Just White Wolf says like, if, if someone has the centipede odium and lets himself be absorbed by Talbot, would that work as a, uh, like, could that be a thing? Maybe. That could be interesting. Like, Coulson has it, or... Like, they give it to Coulson, uh, he's like, no, he does that, lets him absorb him. I don't know. Hmm. Do you think that him absorbing... I mean, obviously, it's a bad thing that he absorbed Crusher Creel. But, in his mind, he sees it as a mercy. Maybe he, maybe he's right in that Creel would never have been okay after that. And he kind of almost, like, puts him out of his misery, but gets to talk with him in his head. I don't know. Maybe he had Creel go in there, and it's punch the fuck out of those guys. Yeah. That won't shut the uh, hell up. Cat of Canal says, fun fact, uh, this episode's name is The Force of Gravity. Mm -hmm. but the original episode was the equation F equals G times M1 times M2 divided by D2. Yeah. Which is interesting. It must be like force is equal to gravity times mm -hmm. stuff. 
I don't know what that stuff is. <coughs> I'm Science. assuming that's what it is. So that's cool. Pong says, Wild Theory is, I know six numbers a sign that we could be getting a sixth season, but it being zero is that it's a prequel to S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> People grasping at straws, hoping. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It would be it would be interesting though, I'd say. You have a prequel shield season because they have a prequel they movie. have a prequel movie coming out. So you have that helping to explain more stuff back then or something like that. And then you come back, you have Avengers four and then an, another shield season. Yeah. You know, like that would be neat. We wouldn't to have do. any of our characters or character development or anything to look forward no. to. No. But you could have Ward maybe. <laughs> You could have May. Undercover. You could have Coulson. We definitely have to have Coulson. May was at a desk job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but now th this could be before... Um, Balrain? Balrain. Maybe. I don't, when was Balrain? I don't know. Um, and then Kat says, Do you guys think the team could use whatever saved Davis's life to save Coulson? They have mentioned it twice now, so it should be important. I would love to. I think it's just a funny thing right now, but... If that comes along and it is a thing and Davis right. is the shield agent that saves the world, I would love it. Like Davis is like, hey, why don't you just use this healing serum? He's like, what? He just takes it and you're like, he's healing. You've had healing serum this whole time? <laughs> well, it's the Rockies. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay. Um, that's the last Q&A that we have. Well, guys, this is... make sure you put in your stuff for it next week because we may yeah. be doing it a little earlier than we normally do and it also is the last episode of the season. So yeah. while you watch it, Friday night mm -hmm. and Saturday... Try to get them in as soon as you can. Um, and this is going to be the last poll before we've either seen the last episode of this season or the last episode ever. <coughs> so we got to make it a good one. We'll have another poll next week, but that one will be more of an open-ended thing. This is, we got one episode to cap it off. Okay, so guys, poll this week. Uh, we have one use of the centipede. Grand, you can add odium to it. You can add Jai Ying's DNA to it or whatever, but we have one centipede. What will centipede be used on? Phil Coulson, Glenn Talbot, something else. I say that it gets used on... Hmm, you first. Say that they use it on Coulson. Yeah. To save Coulson. But it better not fail. So it's not going to fail. They're going to use it on Coulson to save Coulson's life. I mean, what if they used the Odium and Jaying and put it into Coulson? Yeah. And then sent him after Talbot. I don't know if that works, but maybe. And then he goes in and he takes over his body... It explodes, and Coulson's still there because he has giant healing ability. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to say Coulson uses it on his own dick to bang May because we need that what? in the show before the end. <laughs> Guys, check out that poll over at patreon.com slash blindly where you can enter it. Give what you think is going to happen. Also, did you see Crusader made us a Fury toolbox? Isn't that cool? You can probably find one on his Etsy shop. Yeah, I like and one it. of these. Hey there. Where's my pen? <laughs> <laughs>